Um, first of all, could you just say your name? Please? Yeah, it's Peter Lawrence, father of Claudia. Perfect. Okay. First of all, obviously, it's been a very tough week this week. Um, there's been a lot of things coming out about reward money and things like that, which which obviously you knew about before. Um, but do you feel the timing is all wrong for for you know Crime Stoppers to have released a statement and things like that about that? Well, it's difficult for me because I thought this was news about three months ago. Um, they didn't renew the uh, reward offer at the end of December, and in fact, they quite rightly at that time uh, transferred it to the Joanna Yates investigation, which didn't need to be there for very long as it happened. Um, but I was consulted about that at the time, and it was obviously the right thing to do. Uh, we had the reward for something like 18 months, which was far longer than uh, most investigations do, and we had it in a far greater sum than most investigations, so I think we should think ourselves lucky, rather than saying that it hasn't been renewed now. Okay. Now, obviously, today, it's a two-year anniversary. Um, how, how are you feeling now, two years on? Obviously, so much, so much has happened. An awful lot has happened. Uh, unfortunately, the one thing that hasn't happened is we haven't learnt what has happened to Claudia, we haven't found Claudia, uh, and so the campaign goes on. It doesn't get any better, it doesn't feel any easier after two years, and in fact, I suppose, in some ways, uh, it's harder, uh, because you wonder what on earth is happening throughout all this very long time. I mean, have you found ways uh, to, to cope with it? Are there ways that, that you've been going about certain things to, you know, obviously the, the, there's doing bits of campaigning and things like that. Is that something that you've found as, as a coping mechanism? Uh, no, I think I've always said that uh, it's my work that keeps me sane. If I didn't have that to make me concentrate on it, uh, I'm sure it would have been a lot worse. Okay. And, I mean, I, we've been talking, obviously, to um, Ray Galloway, who's, who's obviously been working very closely with yourselves. Um, he was saying, obviously, it's, it is a suspected murder case. There's no going about it. I mean, is that something that you try not to think about it, or is it a reality now, it's two years on, that, that it's something that you've got to start coming to terms with, or will that never happen? No, that will never happen. Uh unless and until there's any evidence to the contrary, and there isn't at the moment, uh, we, the family, believe that Claudia is alive. Uh, I've obviously had lots of conversations with uh, Superintendent Galloway about this. Uh, right from the start, when they said it was going to be a murder investigation, uh, for very good reason, uh, we agreed that uh, we both thought the same thing, that someone out there knows what happened to Claudia, uh, someone has the information, which we've both been requesting for a long time. Uh, they believe it's a murder investigation. I believe it's a missing person investigation. But otherwise, we're working on the same lines. OK, now you mentioned it's a missing persons investigation. Um, this this would be very out of character, obviously, for Claudia. Um, but would you have a message for... Obviously, someone somewhere does know something. Do you, do you have any messages? Yes, I do. Uh, for whoever out there, it is, and it's probably more than one person who knows what happened to Claudia on the 18th of March 2009, which seems awful to think about that. Uh, you must know what happened. Either you or a member of your family or a workmate or a neighbour, a close friend. Someone of you knows what happened to Claudia and it really is time that your conscience made you tell the police or if you don't want to to tell Crime Stoppers anonymously what happened to Claudia we the family after two years really need to know that um, do you think it's important as well that obviously this is an anniversary it, it, local stations and local press have, have been behind it the whole way but obviously national press are likely to, to get interested is that a good time to push again for, for more information yes of course um, it's on these major events like the vigil we did in York Minster for Claudia's birthday at the end of last month uh, where the, the national media, national television and radio do get involved uh, and that's obviously an extremely good thing and we were pushing the same message out at that time to, to all, all the national broadcasters uh, and it got a lot of coverage. The, the press in general 
column, the press, the media, uh, have been absolutely brilliant all the way through this, bar one exception, I think. But uh, they've come with us on our campaign for two years, and I'm absolutely delighted about that. I mean, do you think, obviously, it can be a bit of a, uh, we can be a pain as well, but do you think that's, it's something that has kept keeping the investigation in the public eye is what you need now as you say you still believe it's a missing persons investigation you need people to keep looking out for claudia yes indeed um the fact that it's two years doesn't mean anything stops uh, i had quite a few media people saying to me a year ago now we're passing the first year anniversary you're not going to get the coverage are you and uh, they were wrong uh, and i hope uh, anyone who says that this year will continue to be wrong and, and how do you aim to, to keep going with this? Obviously, it's, it's a lot of work for yourself, as you say. You know, you keep going. You, you've you been doing a lot of stuff with the missing people. That was a new thing as, again. You know, it, are there other ideas in the pipeline that you're still thinking up of ways? Oh, we still uh, keep bringing up new things for you. And Martin Dales, who's been helping me, has been absolutely brilliant with that. Uh, and of course there is the national missing people uh, thing which has really only just started at the end of last year and will keep going certainly throughout this year with parliament and with uh, with other things we've got the uh, the missing miles walk nationally in regent's park on the 2nd of april uh, and i think they're just about up to their highest number of entrants of 500 uh, so i'll be down there with that and uh, along with the national campaign, and of course I'll be pushing the uh, the Fine Claudia campaign as well. Perfect, and obviously with, with Fine Claudia, and there's a lot of um, other other ways people can get in contact, um, are you still hoping, you know, there's a missing piece in this jigsaw somewhere, are you still hoping, you know, someone will come forward, they, they've got to, if they keep hearing it, it's gonna, it's got to trigger one, something. One, one day, uh, somebody will uh, give that bit of information. I'm glad you said about the jigsaw because I've referred to that a few times on uh, the press calls. Uh, there is a bit of information and if that appears then it may help the police to put uh, more of the jigsaw together. I mean the police as well have been saying you know it's a lot of the situation is that they don't actually know what they don't know at the moment. Um, Obviously, two years on, they, they keep saying, you know, it's, it's kind of we're running out of options, but there are still people working on the case. I mean, does that does that kind of bring some hope that this will eventually come to an end? Yes, I still have uh, regular contact with uh, Ray Galloway and spoke to him, obviously, earlier this week about the two year anniversary. Um, they still have information coming in. They just need the bits that enable them to piece it all together. But there is always that message that no matter whether you think uh, the police have heard it a million times, uh, that doesn't matter, does it? And it doesn't matter whether you think your information is important or not. I'm sure some people think, oh, we do know a bit about that, but oh, it's, it's, it's not important enough. Every tiny little piece of the jigsaw is as important as any other. And of course, as well, her phone and her knapsack are still missing. Is that something that we're still being urged to keep a lookout for? Yes, I suppose after two years, that's going to be difficult. But uh, yes, the only things that she took with her from the house were her knapsack, probably with her chef's whites in and her mobile phone. Uh, there's still pictures of them on the findclaudia.co.uk website. Uh, they still haven't been found, as you say. So they're still out there somewhere. OK, and have you got any messages for people that, obviously that you've had a lot of people getting in contact with you, sending their best regards over this two years? Um, I mean, have you got any messages for them? I'd just like to say particularly to the people of uh, York and Hewarth, but not exclusively, uh, people all over the place who've uh, supported me and the family throughout the last two years, a great big thank you. With, even if I go to London or Manchester, somebody taps me on the shoulder uh, and says we're thinking of you or praying for you but in York I mean if I get on a bus there's probably a dozen people do that and if I walk through the streets of York everybody has been absolutely fabulous about it I'd just like them to keep on doing that to pray or to think uh, about Claudia and about the family and if they if they know anybody who they think might know anything to try and chivvy them to uh, to give the information 
You mentioned there about praying as well. The Archbishop of York has been um, very much backing uh, the cause, you know, was praying um, when I went to see him over Christmas uh, for Claudia and also for, for Madeleine McCann. Um, is that something as well? Uh, has that given you uh, some, you know, some good feeling, I guess, for that people are thinking still of Claudia? Yes, we're in contact regularly. He gave an absolute marvellous uh, series of interviews at the end of the vigil we did in York Minster at the end of February. Uh, really powerful. And I'm sure they went out across the national media because it was him. Okay. Um, I think that's all I need. Is there anything else you'd like to say? No, that's fine, thanks.